This pull-out test was performed using a long ribbed reinforcement bar embedded to almost the full depth of a concrete cylinder. There is also a smaller cylinder of mesh inside the concrete to stop the concrete from splitting during the experiment. This reinforced concrete element was designed to have the greatest bond between the steel and concrete of all the test samples. This element will also have the greatest anchorage as the steel is ribbed and is embedded almost the full length of the concrete. These clips show some minor damage to the concrete through micro-cracking which occurred as the load was applied. During this experiment there was minimal movement that could be seen from the steel bar and as the load increased it appeared as though nothing was happening. As the load increased, it became apparent that the output of the experiment showed similarities to a graph of a force displacement failure curve for steel. In this clip, you can see that the load increases to around 50 kN and then drops suddenly to zero. Follow the hand in this clip to see where the steel is necking. This is the point at which the steel will fail. The next shot shows a zoomed in image of the steel failing. These pictures show the failure of the reinforced concrete specimen which has been removed from the testing machine. In this reinforced concrete sample, the bond and anchorage was so strong that the steel reached its ultimate capacity first, and thus failed by snapping. The mesh ensured that the concrete did not fail. This sample had the strongest bond of all those tested and the greatest anchorage. This is due to the long embedment depth and the ribbing of the steel bar.